I'll drink to that. I'm in my Momo. Check me out, guys. Momo living, huh, boy? Probably the bad time to go live. Everyone's probably at that one place. What's it called? Um, work. I have no moderators. So shit, no one's here, huh? Well, I guess I'll dip out then. I guess I'll dip out, pick a better time. There you are. What's up? It's just me and you, it looks like. We're going to talk about... uh boxing match a little bit I'm homeless bro homeless just uh, too much of my cousin man too much fighting too much hardcore fighting I got all of my shit in my car and everything I had to get a storage uh, I can't put up with it no more dude it's too much J cat for me she has too much too much mood swing homeboy too much fucking mood swings Oh, there's my homeboy right there. What's up, T? Yeah, it's kind of like a bummer, bro. And then it just so happens, too, at the same time right now, that, um, looks like I'm getting laid off my job. Bipolar, dude. That's probably exactly what it is. Bipolar, bro. You guys want to know who I'm fighting, though? All you guys were correct. I am fighting Tony. From stories, stories written by a current prisoner. I'm at a motel right now, man. I'm at a motel. I probably don't have the room to get another one tonight. I need to get some money together, put all my shit in storage. Look at it. There's my car down there. Can you see my car? Look at all the shit in it. My blue car down there, it's all full. Hey, get away from my car, yo! Look at that motherfucker. Check him out, dog. There's my car. It's full of all that shit. I don't even know if you guys can even see it. Yeah, there you go. Here. How could you miss that, huh? All my shit in it, homeboy. No, no, it's not even all of it. It's half of it. The fucked up part about it is she didn't even let me go in there and get my own stuff. She packed it up for me and set it outside. I, which makes me more nervous than a long tail cat and a room full of rocking chairs, I had to call the BPD. I had to call the Bakersfield Police Department to get my stuff, dude. And it made me nervous. And they wanted to meet up over there. And I just like, bro, cost made me so nervous, man. Shout out to homeboy, Dave, man. Dave, my thumbnail maker. He actually showed me love. He showed me a lot of love. So anyways, my cousin is too much of a J cat, bro. I cannot handle the mood swings. She rips me off. She steals from me. Dude, her brother tried to start a fight with me yesterday. He lives across the street. I was driving away, and he's out there talking shit. So I jumped into my car like, what's up? And then we got, we got like nose and nose. And it's like, you hit me first. You hit me first. No, you hit me first. And he, you know what I'm saying? He would call the cops. I heard Primus. Yes, Sean Blue. So her brother's in on it, trying to start shit. My cousin's just too much of a J-cat. Makes me sad because of little Mander. I'm out. But you know what my cousin said, bro? You know it's fucked up? Even Green Eye Gemini is acting funny style right now. Can you believe that? I kick me when I'm down, dude. Green Eye Gemini is acting funny style, dude. So. So I, le I left yesterday. I left yesterday. And when I came back, my cousin just refused to let me back in. Said I couldn't come back in. Had it all locked up. And that's when I was going to try to call the cops. Like, I'm locked out of my house. And I said, I need my shit. I need my methadone. She put some stuff out for me. I put it in my car. I drove away. And she said, yep, Raymond, I'm homeless, bro. She said, come back and get the rest of your stuff. I went back, got the rest of my stuff. No, not all of it. And now my car is totally full. And I still got more stuff. I don't know where to put it. I'm going to have to go put it into a storage, man. I just called and checked on it. And uh, so, yeah, man. Are you in Bakersfield, Breeze? Or far away? 
Breeze 1205, where you at, homeboy? So, yeah, man. You know what pisses me off, dude? I feel like I have to slap in the face. My boss, you know the job I have. The job I have is re we work for this lady who owns 90 rentals. She has all these rentals. This triplex caught fire. We went over there, remodeled it. And now they're not renting them out, though. And then she has like four or five other empties. we have been cleaning them out. So I text my boss this morning. There's this one rental. Dude, the toilet won't flush. Has water leaking nonstop out of the bathtub and the sink. It's just <laughs> poor shape. Someone try to call me. It's in poor shape. So I text my boss this morning. I'm like, I'm homeless. I need to move in to one of those spots. Right in California. That's not far. Hmm, perhaps. You're in Los Angeles till Wednesday morning. I'm not. Are you in the Dale, Matthew Stewart? I tried to move into the Dale, bro. So I call my boss, dude, and I'm like, let me get one of those places, dude. And he's like, oh, you have to get on the waiting list, so I rented. Bullshit, dog. They're not rented. They're not rented. He's, dude, it makes me so aggravated. I don't know why my boss would diss me like that, bro. Probably because he knows he doesn't have no work for me and he thinks, you know, he doesn't really like I make money off YouTube, I guess. I don't know, man. So uh, thank you, you guys. Wish me the best, Earth, Wind, and Fire. I got, I got a little, I got a little tote. You know what I mean? Earth, Wind, Heart. Oh, okay, I thought I was gonna say fire. So yeah, my cousin got a fight. But look what she said though. She wouldn't let me in. And now she called and said, "Look, because I was supposed to go see Green Eye Gemini this weekend up north. Probably not gonna go now." But my cousin's saying, I'm not staying no motherfucking homeless shelter, Raymond. Good looking out, though. I'd rather stay in my car. I can sleep in my car. My cousin, dude, my cousin. Oh, hey, Raymond, I understand. Yeah, they kick you out with in the morning. I, I'll sleep in my car, bro. My mom's over there. Dude, my stepmom. My stepmom. What's up, Stephen James? My stepmom is a fucking millionaire, dude, because of my dad dying from asbestos cancer. And she helps me out for like when it's important. So I'm gonna jam her up, man, and ask. I need to get a storage right now, dude. I need a hundred bucks right now to get a storage, man. I got all my shit in the car, and I gotta go get the rest of my stuff. I gotta get the rest of my stuff. So anyway, my cousin tells me, she calls me and says, why don't you just kick back the next couple days? Why don't you go on your trip up north and see Jen this weekend? And when you come back Monday, just come back home. Let's move in. We'll work it out. But, dog, I don't want to go back because of her, her mood swings. Because of her freaking mood swings, bro. She's like this. Here's how my cousin. My cousin would be like, hi. Hi. I got you a rock star. How are you doing? And she'd be nice. And then I'll overhear her saying, I hate that motherfucker. I hate that motherfucker. I'm trying to explain why I won't go back. She's a Jake cat dog. She has mood swings. She rips me off. You could join the car. The car? I have a land? Revived living quarters? Is that like an army? I can go to Ukraine huh, and just join the war effort. Can you picture me, dog, in Ukraine? They probably don't even feed those dudes. So, they probably have wet socks. So, I don't know, man. Big fight with my cousin. You know the cable is in my name. I already called and canceled the cable. She's hating life, dog. She said no, there were no mother fizz up in cable, and she's addicted to watching Survivor on Wednesday night. It's a J Cat though, dog. She risked me off. She risked me off. Dave, Dave, fifteen oh three sent me a birthday package. My birthday was in the beginning of March. Homeboy sends me a birthday package. He said it was supposed to come on my birthday at like ten a.m. So a couple days before my birthday, though, I'm in the living room and my cousin says, oh, you got a package out there. And I was like, what? He said, no, 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 I'm just joking. I'm just joking. And I was like, wasn't expecting nothing. As it turns out, my package did show up that day. And as it turns out, I did have a package out there. And she grabbed it, homeboy, and stole it from me. Stole my fucking package, man. Here we go. I bought a 25-foot bus, 3,500-foot floors, cabinets, been living. Damn, that sounds good. Bomb, homeboy. I want to live in a bus. Yeah, man. Oh, Carney. Oh, yeah, that's dope, homeboy. 
I'm not really in shape, dog. I appreciate that. You're saying what I do to keep in shape. I'm not really in shape. I have a cash app, Zelle, and Venmo. I'm just concerned. I just need a freaking storage, dog. I need a storage because all my shit's in my car. And I need to go get the rest of my stuff. And there's nowhere to put it. A burpee here right now. It's in a great while. So that leads me. You know the boxing. What's up with the boxing? We're boxing Tony. Some stories written by a current prisoner. And what sucks about that is I was enrolled in boxing class. This, that's what started this whole fight with my cousin. You want to know what started this whole fucking fight with my cousin? Is last Monday, I went to work. I borrowed her car. Remember, my car was broken. I hadn't got my brakes fixed. I just spent 400 for my brakes. My brakes work now. I didn't really tell you guys all that, man. Remember the brake situation? Brakes are fixed. I paid $400 to get those suckers going. My brakes are working. The fuck? What's up, Barty Martin? I forgot the fuck I was talking about, man. I promised myself I wouldn't do that, too. Oh, okay. So, dude, after work last Monday, borrowed her car, I went to the gym. Usually, I get home from work at like at 3.30. This time, I got home from work at 5.30. She's like, well, why, are you, why are you back so late? Because I went to the gym, and she got pissed off, bro. She got pissed off that I took her car to the gym after work and didn't tell her. Right on, good looking out. Umbo says he has 20 for me, dog. So, she, I came home on that Monday. I don't know if you guys seen that picture, dude. She literally ripped my door with her bare hands. There's a picture floating around somewhere. She ripped my door, a big old piece off it, dude. And then the piece like this big, she threw through the crack in the door. It hit, hit my dog, fucking little boy. You should definitely stay in that house and deal with her mood swings until you're financially able to move on. No Jimmy here. I don't know, but it's going to end up making me catch a case, dog. DJ's out of pocket. Why is DJ out of pocket? What did DJ say? Yeah, he's talking shit. Sacrifice. Live in the car that they gave you for some, for some months. They didn't give me a car. I bought it. Stack up. Get your own place. Stop depending on people. I don't depend on anybody. I pay. Uh, my cousin thinks it's a good deal. It's her house. I pay all the fucking. Uh, I pay all the bills there. Who's got a point? Who's got a point? Charleston. Who's got a point, bro? Who's got a point, Charleston? I wonder who the fuck. Who has a point, bro? I'll block your motherfucking ass so fast right now, dog. I'll fucking block your motherfucking ass so fast, dude. You'll never be around. My, my fucking cousin thinks. Charles gone. My cousin thinks that, uh, Charles, you're out of here, bitch. My cousin thinks this is a good deal, homeboy. And see, he offered me $20, dog. Just because you offered me $20 doesn't mean you get to come in here and disrespect me. So, I don't need moderators. Let me ask you, this is a good deal. This is what my cousin thinks is a good deal, homie. She has the house, all the dishes and the towels and the furniture and all that shit. I freaking move in and pay all the bills. So she thinks that's a good deal for me to pay all the bills since she's providing the house. I just canceled the cable, bro. She's hating life, homeboy. She's hating life. Everything is going well. Everything is going well. I'm just coming in, letting the point of view crew know who I'm boxing. Let them know that I'm homeless. Let them know that I'm going to be working it. We'll figure that out. Cracker Deluxe. I'm not even going to go there right now. I appreciate it, though. I don't need any help, man. I stayed in a room last night. I'm going to go get myself a storage. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to get my own place. I have my own place, so I'm living with my cousin playing all the bills, dude. I paid all the bills. I paid the mortgage, seven fifty a month. I paid the cable, which is three hundred a month. I paid the PG and E. I took care of that. My my cousin has no income, none. My cousin has no income. Doesn't have a penny coming in. Hasn't for years. But her state of mind is the house is mine. 
You move in and pay all the bills. I provide the house. You pay the bills. That's what we've been doing for years and years, dude. I pay the fucking mortgage, dude. 700 something bucks. I pay the cable and I just canceled the cable. She's sitting there hating life and no cable, dog. I just canceled that shit. I, I buy all the animal food, homeboy. I pay everything, man. Hell yeah, she gives me way more. That's why she already hit me up and said, will you please come think about it? She said, come stay. So if you leave, how is she going to pay the bill? She's not. She's fucked. She's fucked. She's not going to pay the bill. She's fucked, man. She's fucked. That's her problem. The only thing I'm worried about is... I'm only worried about the animals, bro. I know. She doesn't get a job. Who knows why she doesn't get a job? Because she's a lazy ass. Because she lives off me. Because she lives off me, man. That's why. I pay all the bills. She don't help out with nothing. What's Furious talking about? So anyways, that's my situation, man. It does, it's not a bad thing. I, I could be there, man. She told me to come back. She told me to come back, dude. No, I don't know who texted. I think that was a, that was a storage place that I called her now. Yeah, exactly. That's what I like. Nicholas right here. Keep that chin up, homeboy. That's what I'm looking for. It's not a hand sketch. It's not even a handshake deal. It's, it's, it's family, I thought. You know what I'm saying? I've been there 10 years. And that's what she hates, bro. I'll admit it. When I went there, when I went there, I didn't have much. I was strung out on heroin. I was scouting on parole. I was still going to the pen. When I moved in there, I basically had the clothes on my back, dude. I didn't even have a car. And since then, I've came up, bro, through hard work. I mean, now I have a couple guitars. They're giving to me. I don't work for them. But I mean, I have shit. I have clothes. I've acquired things. I have a room full of shit. My car is full of shit. I have a bunch of shit now. And she always says, you'd have nothing without me. You showed up with nothing. But that doesn't mean that all the stuff I have, you gave me. I know no one gets my video notification anymore. YouTube's doing me hella, 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 hella dirty. Exactly. If I can afford all those bills, I can afford my own pad. You're absolutely right. 100%. Yeah, fuck family, dog. So, I might raffle one of my guitars. I don't know about sell you one, but I might raffle one out. Mm, Matthew Stewart, I don't, I, I don't know about that because uh, Matthew wants to know, is it a bad look, me having a boxing event with a YouTuber who interviews only PCs? If he had done any kind of prison time, if he was PC himself, that'd be different. But Tony's a journalist. He's never been to prison. He doesn't even really understand PC, bro. He just has these people up. They call and leave stories. He doesn't. He's not PC himself. So, uh, anyway, it's a fight. <laughs> I'm going to fight him, homeboy. Huh, it's not like we're going to go um, play cribbage and go barbecue and just hang out and go, go dancing. Go to the movie. We're not going to go see the new Scream movie together. We're going to be fighting. Exactly. He's not a PC. He's a, he's a journalist, bro. And he is. Exactly. Thank you, 209. Oh, but Matthew, that's a good point. That's a good point. Exactly. You're solid. Why would you not box someone like that? You know what I mean? I don't know what's going to happen with the mask. I know he told me he's 6'1 and 220, but he's going to try to get down to 200. I am 5'10 and 170. I'm going to try to get to 175. 180! Bam! Cubo! See, this is what I'm talking about. It right here. See this guy, Travis Ingram? Strung out, bro. Looks at bro. Strung out again. Looks at bro. 
So he's saying like from right here, he's saying strung out again. Like what? What do you mean? Check marks? You see any pimples? How about my pupils? You see what kind of hate I get? What kind of lanes I have to deal with? I'm already homeless. I'm already struggling on some level. And I got some knack motherfucker coming in here like you're strung out again. Looks like it. Let me show you this, man. Look at these methadone take homes, dude. Look at these take homes. You know what you have to get to get these, dude? Random drug test every month, dude. For years. I've never failed a drug test in methadone for years, bro. That's why they give me my methadone to take home. I don't go down there to get it every day. The only way you can get all these take homes, homeboy, is if you're clean, you fucking prick. They drug test you constantly, randomly. And if you even fail just one, you're asked out, dude. You don't get all these fucking take homes, dog. That's why I said I was going to have a hair follicle test. I'm literally going to go have a hair follicle test, check my hair for drugs. I'm going to record me walking in and clipping it, record everything, and then come in here and show you the clean drug test. Just so all those punk motherfuckers can eat their words, dog. God, I get sick of that, man. You're strung out, looks like it. Bitch ass motherfucker. See, this is what I want to say to him. This is what I want to say to that guy. Send me the links to your social media. Matthew White, I'm Box of Tony. There's a lot of, yep, a lot of clean drug tests. That's right. You get these take homes. Damn right. Years worth. Years worth. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to say something. Yeah. So, you bitch ass motherfucker. Definitely back on drugs. Creek One, let me have the links to your social media. Seriously. If Creek One, if you don't give me a link to your social media, you're a straight up fucking punk, dude. Seriously, man. If anyone asks me for links to my social media, Tarantulife underscore 1010 is my Instagram, Prism PLV on YouTube, feel free to come look at me. Now, I want to look at this dude, though. I want to look at that guy. I want him to send me his links, dude, but he won't do it. Wow, you big... A joke? I'm not big mad. I'm just calling you a lame, homeboy. I don't have to get mad to call you a lame. I don't have to get mad to call you a lame. I think my cousin's watching the live. She just texted me and said, uh, sorry you're feeling that way. Send me your buck. Put it this way. Don't even talk no shit to me unless you're going to give me your social media. Otherwise, you're a straight bitch. If you got something to say, send me your link to social media and then call me out and say what you want to say so I can come look at you and DM you and we can talk about it. Otherwise, you're just a big ass pussy leaving me some bullshit and you don't even want to represent with your own face, dude. I know. Fuck those motherfuckers, dog. Oh, he's from Travis is from Tampa, huh? Well, it's not funny, Travis. Okay. I work hard for my sobriety, dog. I work hard for my sobriety, dude. So anyways, and you know what? Can I keep it all the way real? When I woke up today, I was homeboy. The thought crossed my mind to use drugs. I'm not going to lie. I never get tempted, but I find myself in this weird situation. I'm like, fuck it. I should just get high. The, the thought did cross my mind, bro. The thought did cross. No, no, no. The thought crossed my mind, man. I would never do it, bro. So, oh, the channel's going to definitely go, man. You guys going to see me sleeping in my car for a minute. You can, we have so much going on on the channel to talk about. I'm, I'm still going to... Oh, lockdown 23 and 1. Show! What's up, homeboy? Wow, I got freaking straight up death in my life. Imagine that. So, no, I'm not going to do it, man. Definitely not. But, I mean, it was kind of even weird even thinking that. Because I never even have, like, uh, what do you call it? Cravings. Never have cravings. But I think just the situation I was in is just like... Ugh. So, um, the Valley Beggars feeling... Well, what, uh, righteous monkey, why do you have to start from the uh, beginning? 23-1 is definitely a good dude. I'm boxing that dude, Tony. And what sucks, like I said, is I was going to the gym. I was working a boxing gym, bro. Now that kind of messed everything up, man. But I'm still going to do the boxing event. I also have to train on my own. I do plan on getting off methadone. Tony is from lockdown 23-1. and one. Listen how my methadone taper went, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad at myself. See if you could track with me. 
You, you didn't miss too much, man. We're going to keep on talking, but I'm not going to nowhere. I'm going to box Tony, righteous monkey, and I'm kind of kicked out. No, I'm not kicked out of my house. I moved out. I'm homeless. All my shit's in the car. Good looking out. Josh, I appreciate it, brother. Usually when I have a friend on here and I know they have a channel, I would say, hey, let me shout out their channel. You guys should go check out Lockdown 231, but I'm sure all you guys know about them. I'll shout them out anyway, but it's kind of like, you know. It's like reminding you there's a place. You guys know that place, McDonald's? They sell hamburgers? Just go check it out. It's like shouting out McDonald's is kind of like shouting out death from Lockdown 231. You guys know about it. Like 300 rent. So, me and my cousin got in a big argument, bro. She has mood swings. Yes, Tony from Current Prisoners. I left yesterday to go to the courthouse. That's another thing. I got a whole court thing going on you guys know nothing about. I wanted to tell you about it, but I asked Jen, I asked some other people. Dave knows. My, my um, Dave 1503 knows about the court case I have going on, my thumbnail maker. It's probably not the correct home phone number or Addy Furious. There's a couple of them on there. I know it's not the right phone number. Whatever phone number you find when you Google me, it's going to be 412 4892. is what pops up. It's not it. But hey, you can, anyone can have my phone number if you hit me up on IG. You know, prompt that fucking address too. You want to come find me? Let's do it. So, um, yeah, I mean, my cousin has got too big one, dude. I can't handle the mood swings. I cannot. Four one, four two three eight. Now, no, I never heard of that one. Four two three eight. Now, wow, y'all looked into me. Of course, they look into me too, Travis. Oh, is he talking to you? Oh, he's talking about Travis. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about me. Uh, anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, okay, look at this, man. You want to talk about looking into something? Did you guys know who the hell put that flag up? Was it Elon Musk? Elon Musk put a flag up in the middle of nowhere. No, 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 no. It was, it was Shia LaBeouf, dude. If you guys heard about the story, trip on this, dude. Trip on Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf put like an overnight webcam, like a live thing. In a wall, there's a camera in a wall, a 24/7 live feed to where you can go, and I think it was a support Trump, and he, he, would, he would it would say he won't divide us or something. It was either supposed to, it was either supposed to support Trump or support the people that um, just the people. Like I don't know, but anyway, Shia LaBeouf had a live stream. People start trolling him though. People would just show up and troll them. Yeah, the, they, yeah, the nerve, they, the nerve down at T said they'd show up and troll them. So what Shia LaBeouf did was he took a flag. He raised a flag in the middle of nowhere. And it said he won't divide us. Just a flag. And yes, 4chan found it by the frogs, by the wind. Do by the wind, homeboy. They looked at the flag, saw how it was waving, and they just start studying wind patterns. Wind patterns. And then... I think you got EDD. I can't get no EDD. Then they, the, the frogs and whatever. Dude, they found that flag like in 10 hours, dude. So, homeboy, Travis, they go find you. They find me. Hi, Dave, 1503, mailed me a package to my house for my birthday, and he just got the address offline. But then he went to one of my lives where I was outside, and he, like, double-checked. He's like, yep, this is it. Yes, the don't fuck with cats thing. Yep. What's up, Kern County Stories? I don't know how they did it, but yeah, they checked him, homeboy. I'm in a motel. I'm in a motel. Good looking out, homie. Ain't a lot, Spencer. But just a little help. Good looking out. Appreciate, it, dog. Let me give you a burp. I always get burpees anytime I get donation. Bam. So I am boxing Tony. In May, the story is written by a current prisoner. I got my car fixed, Eric. 400 bucks. 400 bucks to fix that thing, man. Hey, I'm proud of myself. Could do that. Said, dude said 450. And I said, oh, man, could do it for four? Now I'm in a hotel room uh, in Bakersfield, White Lane. Rexon doesn't have motel rooms. Uh, oh, God, I didn't go to Odo. Did you see that dude doing serenial burpees? No, is it good or bad? 
Hey, and trip on this, my cousin just went to jail. I just want to throw this out there. My cousin went to jail. He was in there for a couple days. He came out. He said all the Southsider youngsters in there, all the Southsiders were going around saying the N-word, dude. Can you believe it, man? Ninja. I, I, just, I mean, I just tripped on that, bro. It's such a different time from when I was doing prison time. You would have never heard the homies running around. Hey, Ninja. Hey, what's up, Ninja? My Ninja. And now they all, when did that happen? Did it come from rap? When did the Southsider start using Ninja? <laughs> My cousin's uh, texting me. How do you get money on here? Um, I'm not sure. But bro, if you're gonna get some money, homeboy, do it to Cash App or something so I could use it now so that I can go get a um so I can get a storage to put all my shit in. You should be planning on donating, dude. I'm not asking for it. I'm just saying the game is watered down. What game? Oh, the game in there? Um yeah, I gotta give me a storage, dude. Put all my shit in. So backflipping, damn. I know the N word, dude. And then what was crazy too is I went to my to the to the weed store, and there's some homie Southsiders that work there. Good looking out, Eric. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, Raymond. You think so? A lot of people say that the North and South is blending. I mean, I really don't see it, man. I don't see it happening. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think the reason why there's problems in North Dana is Raymond goes down. Oh, uh, that shit goes back to the 60s, bro. But they are trying to do something. Like, I don't really know. This is their business, not mine. But, shocking to hear them say N-word. And I went to the pot store. And I told the, the homie who was serving me up. I was like, damn, my cousin got out of jail. My cash app. See, I have no uh, moderators right now. It's dollar sign. B. K. S. Dollar sign B. K. S. What is my thing? I don't even know, man. Uh, oh, BKSKC23. I know, I know. I should post my cash app. Usually my moderators do it. I don't have no moderators. There it is right there. Thank you, homie. No, but a capital KC. Can you fix that? The, the, no, no, no. B. No, no. You got the capitals wrong. It is BKSKC23, but the K and the S is lowercase. And then that's... <laughs> K is capital, and yeah. I'm on, oh, dude, I didn't tell you guys about my methadone taper. I'm all over the place. I apologize, homeboy. You would be too if you're homeless. Yeah, it's capital B, lowercase K, lowercase S, capital K, capital C, 23. So look, I'm on 95. Still not it, Yogi. Um, The K and the S and B and Baker's is lowercase. That's all you have to do. The K and the S is lowercase. Um, dude, look it. I was on, yep, K-Dub, homeless man. I was on 95 milligrams of methadone. 95 milligrams. Yep, that's it, Dino. That's my cash app. Thank you, Dino. Good looking out, man. Wow, thank you. I appreciate you guys are showing love, man. I'm going to put my, um, my stuff in storage. Look, I was trying to show you. I gotta get the rest of my stuff, but look it. My car's full, man. My car's full of shit. Look at that. No room for anything else, man. And I gotta go get more. So I need to put this in a storage. But I mean, that's my problem. You know what I'm saying? That I got here. But if someone's gonna show love. But here. There's Toy. Oh, man, I know, Sonny. Serious though. Focus wagon packed to the brim, bro. For real, for real. So, dude, I was on 95 milligrams of methadone. I went and told them I want to taper. I want to drop seven milligrams every couple of weeks. I was on 95. So first I dropped to 88. And I was on 88, I was feeling cool. Thank you, uh Corona. I appreciate it, Corona. I know, man. I, I'm scared to go around her alone. She could call the cops, dude. I know. So I was on 95. I went down to 88, and I was feeling fine. And then I did my next taper of seven. It dropped me to 81. Sick as a dog, dude. Sick as a dog. I tapered too much. 
I wish the doctor would have gave me a heads up and said, don't go so fast. From 95 to 88, from 88 to 81, and then, dog, I felt sick. I had to raise it back up. Long story short, I'm on 96 now. I went from 95 to 96, trying to taper. How the hell that happened? Too much, too fast, dude. I know, man. I know. He keeps asking me if I program with the blacks if you're locked up out of Cali. What do you mean by program? Would I be one? Would I eat with them and sell up with one? Is that what you're saying? I don't know what you mean by program. I know, two, I should, I know. I don't know why I did seven. I was just thinking, I don't know really what the hell I was even thinking, man. I can't live with gin. We're not even getting around right now, bro. That's what I tried to say earlier, man. It's kind of messed up because out of all these things that's going on, me and Jen aren't even getting along. I got the bullshit. I got a court case going on. It's not It's not uh, any kind of crime. So I have some court bullshit going on. There's shit going on at work. There's shit going on at home. I got this boxing thing going on. This is like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm the type of dude that gets overwhelmed easy. I get overwhelmed easy, man. In jail, I got caught cheek. Oh, damn. They give me methadone in jail, though? Damn. Lake County, no. Mm -mm. Shout out to the joiners. I don't know about Lake County. So, like I said, a court thing going on, which I asked some people about. I was like, hey, should I tell the point of view crew about this court thing? And I was like, no, 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 let's leave it alone for a minute. So I got that going on. I had this boxing thing going on with Tony, which I was enrolled in the gym, but now I'm going to have to back out of that for a minute. I'm no longer where I've been living for the last 10 years. My dog Lily's there. Ooh, snark, snark, Lily. Miss my dog, bro, already. And work is all fucking up. And what sucks, man, I'll repeat it. Dude, this really kind of hurt my feelings, bro. Because my boss, let's tie you down now. Get out of there and get a fresh start. Life is good. Yeah, nothing's tying me down, homeboy. Here I am. Not tied down. I'm all good to go. I When it rains, it pours, dude. When it rains, it freaking pours. Yeah, thank you for keeping me the prayers, Sonny. I appreciate that, dog. Of course, mandatory. Prayers are, prayers are important. I got overwhelmed and I sleep. That's the best. I know, I know, I know. I'm a sleeping fool, man. I'm a sleeping fool, too. When I get, when I get uh, especially when I take a little sneaky toad off some indica. And, um, yeah, man. I was supposed to quit this on Monday. When was Monday? Can't really fix things with my cousin because her mood swings, dude. She definitely, she seriously has mental illness, bro. She'll be real nice. Hi, I made lunch. How's it going? Hi. And then 30 minutes later, she'll be yelling and cussing, slamming doors. And who, I don't know what sets her off. I thought we were totally cool before. I've been in my room and I hear her saying on the phone to someone or whatever, I hate that motherfucker. Or just walking by saying it to herself. Definitely bipolar. Steals everything from me. Like I said, Dave sent me a package for my birthday. Dave 1503. Some socks and, and some pens and paper, which I would love to have. I'm a sock fiend and I need pens. I need paper, homeboy. She stole my package out the front doorstep, dude. Took it. Didn't even get it, dude. Straight up fucking scandalous, man. And she goes in there and just rips me off, dude. That's why I had to put a lock a lock on my closet door. So she wouldn't go in there. She still steals shit, dude. Ugh. I know, bro. She made dinner the other day and afterwards I felt sick and I thought she might be poisoning me. Way more mad and angry than she is high, nice and happy. Way more. Way more, dude. I think it's hardcore. I don't know what it is, man. Yeah, dude. And then her brother tried to fight me yesterday. Look at her brother, dude. He's 6'3", 200-something pounds. We don't like each other. I seen him at Walmart like a couple months ago, dude. He, he came walking in. We, I was leaving when he was walking in. And he tried to like walk through me, dude. So I, I gave him the elbow, dude. Bam! Hit him hard with my elbow, dude. And he knocked him back. He's like, bitch! I just laughed. You call me a bitch. I'm not going to fight him in Chevron. And he said that because I fucking put contact on him. Don't talk. Do something. He should turn around and crack me. I contacted dog. I gave him a hardcore check. Dude. I went through his ass. Yesterday, I'm driving off. He pretty much jumps in front of my car like, what's up? What's up? So I jump out. 
from my current part. Like, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? What's up? What's up? He's like, hit me, hit me. I tell him, no, you hit me. He's like, you hit me. And I said, if I hit you, you're going to call the cops. And he said, yeah, I am. I would, dude, I would, I would wipe the floor up with that big old nasty, lame-ass fucking goofball. That dude's mentally ill, too. You know what he did? Because he huffs paint. He huffs paint. Cash out. It's on here. Um, Yogi, could you drop a por favor? Bro, they have a BMW. A gray BMW. This fool, what he does, there'll be no damage on the car at all. There'll be no damage. He'll go out there and he'll start sanding it. He'll sand it down and primer it. And, and dude, he's always out there sanding and primering his car with no problem. No body damage. He took a perfectly good BMW and turned it into like primered junk. Because he sniffs paint and goes out there and just sands on it all day. J-Cab, bro. I know, man. Just when you think it can't get worse. And then even me and my sister having like a weird little thing, man. Because my mom, trip on this now. My mom, last summer, broke her hip. If he's paying bills, what can he possibly possibly doing? Yep, except there's a, a dollar sign in front of that Jeff Dub. Dude sounds strung out. Where's Giovanni at? I sound strung out. Huh? What does strung out sound like? What the hell does strung out sound like? I'm strung I can't possibly be strung out because I get take over from methadone. Strung out would imply that you use every day. How? How? When I'm doing constantly drug tests, random drug testing. Dude, I haven't felt a drug test for like three years. I got my take home, homie. How could I possibly be strung out with take home, dude? Because it sounded like a lame. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize, anybody. That's my bad, too, because sometimes I come in and read a comment and I don't know who it was for. I apologize. I apologize. Oh, I am stressed the fuck out. I am stressed the fuck out, bro. I'm very stressed out, dude. I got a lot going on. So, um, shit. my mom broke her hip because a nurse pushed her down, dude. A nurse tricked my mom in the hospital. I'm going to, I don't know when I'm going to quit method. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try, man. So, um, my mom broke her, 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 her freaking, my cash app is, it's around here somewhere. BKSKC23. But there's some capitals and some not. My, um, a nurse tripped and pushed my mom down. Broke her hip in two places. And my mom's in her 70s. There it is right there. Yeti put it. Thank you, Yeti. I apologize for calling you Yogi. Um, I know the boxing is a blessing because I'm going to get some money, dude. And I'll be able to get a pad. My mom, a nurse, pushed my mom down. Broke her hip in two places. She had to have a pee bag. She has a pee bag now, dude, which she hates. She says it's so uncomfortable she can't stand it. It got infected and made her um, kidneys infected. And so the hospital's giving her a settlement. And it's been since like summertime. And so my sister's the one dealing with it because my mom's kind of like out of it. My sister's the one talking to lawyers. My mom says she's going to show me some love, but I think my sister's trying to, trying to block that, bro. And I call my sister. I'm boxing Tony, Kenneth. I call my sister. I'm like, hey, are you keeping in touch with the lawyers? Like, it's been a while. You need to be talking to them every couple weeks. Have they even made an offer? What's going on with it? She's like, yeah, this kind of thing takes a long time. She's trying to keep me out of it, bro. Oh my gosh, you've been in the settlement since 2018? Don't tell me that, homeboy. With the hospital? Is it going through the courts, though? Thank you, brother. Thank you, Raymond. I know, dude. I used to have... I used to have 21. And then they took them away, and they said it's only because of COVID. Cause they didn't want people going down there. And then my counselor could... Uh, settlements, take, settlements do take forever... But it's not going through um, a court. It's just going through like a claim. So I don't know, man. My mom says she's going to show me some love. I'm like, fuck, I hope she gets it quick. Yeah, bro, you broke your neck on a job? Damn. Cash can blow a family apart. You're absolutely right. Yep. Homies in South Africa, let me come kick it with you, dog. Blue Scante, yuck. Yep, so those of you who want to know about the um, 
the boxing on boxing Tony. I'm homeless right now. And this is kind of like whatever. But I need to I need to get away. It's like taking a band-aid off. It's gonna hurt her first, but I'll be so happy, man. Somebody sent me a link. I think it was just the barber. Sent me a link that someone in Bakersfield has a room for rent, 750 bucks a month. And so that'd be awesome, bro. Own private bathroom. Do I pay $700? I, I'd rather rent a room off somebody so I don't have to get my own PG e hooked up and all that shit, man. And cable, redo all that, and have to get furniture. Mm, don't have no furniture, don't have no towels. Yeah. Tony, yep. Where's the boxing match? I believe. Every time I see Dunford, Alabama, it kind of trips me out because my brother's name is um, Dustin Albrico. And so I see that, I'm like, oh, just like Stephen James, I get him and Sleepy Jones confused. Stephen James, Sleepy Jones, Dustin Albrico, that you? Double jab and a straight right. Every single time, huh? Tony's from the channel. Did you mean to call me homeless bum? Oh, I, I don't know if that says burn or bum. Homeless bum. There you go. Good looking out. I've been listening to you. I'll be able to quit methadone. I was on it for 13 years. They switched me to Cadian. What's Cadian? What's Cadian? Also, you know what they have now, too? They have the, uh... Tony's not a dropout affiliate. No, he's not. He's never done time at all. Oh, type of morphine. Damn. You know what they have, too? Hey, thank you. Uh, thank you, um, Springfield. I got love for you. You've been around forever, too, man. Joiner, much love to you. Damn, dude, really? Shoo! Damn, yes! Yes! Yes, man! Ooh, fuck yeah! Shoo! Yes! I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it, but I needed $100 bad as fuck, dude. Because I need to put my shit in motherfucking storage, dude. But I don't want to ask. I don't want to ask. Oh, yeah, 10 burpees. Even though people say, hey, Splinter, if you're ever in a bind, ask. I don't want to ask, man. And then if I do ask, I got people like this guy coming on. Homeless bum, piece of shit, punk motherfucker, drug addict. You're using people. You're strung out. You're trying to hustle. It's like, I don't need all that talk, dog. You know what I mean? But damn, dude. Oh, good looking out, bro. Burpee time. Oh. Dude, I'm here. I'm gonna give you a burpee, huh, boy? Man, I'm so happy right now. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a storage. I'm gonna go to storage. Yes. Yes. Hang on, let me absorb that. Man, I feel so happy right now, dude. Because my car's full, man. Fuck. Thank you so much, you guys, man. I'm just so happy, dude. I, I'm so happy you made, make me sweat. It's not from the burpee, it's from excitement. Whoa. I went to the store the other day, and the lady's like, I didn't know you had hair. You always wear a beanie. Well, you didn't think I had hair? You think I'm bald? So, I need a storage, dude. I got to put my shit in storage because I have to go get the rest of my stuff, and my car is full. How do you get the rest of your stuff with my car full? I'm going to go get a storage, dude, and we're done. Yes! I love you guys, man. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. Okay. Thank you, Uncle Red Bull. Thanks, Neji. And thanks, put on the table. What? Nah, you're lying, dog. Nah, I'll cry, dude. Don't you fuck. No way, this dude's lying. He said I sent a thousand dollars. If you send me a thousand dollars, dude, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry, dude. I'll be gone. Yeah, you can send twenty dollars. You can send two dollars. He li I don't want to call him a liar. He's probably just, you know. Nah, I would cry, bro. My lady, man, I don't know what's going on with Green Eye Gemini, dude. Because yesterday, I was struggling. I was really, like, tripped out. I have anxiety. And I can't check it now because I'm here with you guys. If he did, he did. I, 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 I don't think he did. So, bro, I'm struggling. 
And I was calling Grand Gemini. And she has a job, but her she could talk at work. Yeah, hell yeah, heck yeah, bro. 31 bucks a Friday, three on Friday, seven dollars next Wednesday. How much for me to bick my head? I'm making off run boy. This shit's gone. So so I have some tattoos you might want to see. I'm getting overwhelmed. I can't even think. Oh my gosh. I feel like I was in the middle of the story and I spaced off. Okay. Yesterday I'm going through shit. My cousin's kicking me out. I went to go get the papers for the court case I have that I can't really tell you about, guys about the court case yet. It's not criminal. Dave 1503 knows about it. It's just a thing I got going on. I'm going to go get the paperwork for it. And I came back. My cousin had me locked out. Said I can't come in. And it's a bunch of bullshit. So I'm having anxiety. I don't really know what to do. So I start calling Green Eye Gemini. She's not answering. I sent her a couple of texts. Hours later, it's like I was in a meeting and she asked her to like put off. She acted like she felt like she was disrespected over the text that I sent her. But I'm what the hell? I just, you know, like, oh, wow. Some, you know, just like, I said, well, you know, fuck it then. Shit. If you're not there for me, if you're not my rock, if you're not there for me to stand on, I do have Venmo. I do have Venmo. Thank you, Zappo. Thank you, man. Yes, yes, yes. My Venmo is... What is my Venmo? Splinter. Splinter POV. Splinter POV. Hey, Dave, you still here? Or day 1503. Are you still here, T? No, Tony's not a dropout. He's never done time. For the people who don't, who can't, who can't da donate, like I wish I could help, just play the um the videos, man. Like the book, the book that I'm dropping. Just let that book play, man. Even if you're just driving to the car or at night. I, I believe it's Splinter P. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you, T. T will know it. Yes, thank you, T. I think it's Splinter POV. Homegirl got hit by a truck last night. Doctors can't spot the bleeding. Gave her an hour to live. What the heck? Oh, damn. I thought you said your lady is still bad. Your homegirl? Well, we'll pray for your brother. I mean, your homegirl. Brother. Pray for your kids. My Instagram. Did I say Instagram? I don't think there's a minimum. Where'd you try to send it to, Rascal? Are you talking about Cash App or are you talking about Venmo? Um, my Instagram is tarantulife underscore... Is it Christopher Burton at Prison POV or Splinter at Prison POV? T. Cash App is BKSKC23. But the, okay, so it's Christopher Burton, Prison POV? Uh, yeah, so Splinter, yeah, Splinter, PO, Splinter Prison POV, huh? Is my Venmo. Splinter at Prison POV. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. Splinter at Prison POV. And the cash app is BKSKC23. I'm going to go get a storage after this because someone showed me the love. I didn't want to ask, bro. I didn't even want to imply, but I, I needed like a mofo because my the car's full, dog. And I got to get more shit. So, man, so much going on. Thank you. Thank you, um, Connor Williams. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyone from New York City? Oh, okay. Okay, T. I think it might just be Splinter POV, though. But, um... Yep, I, lo I love my place just because my cousin has hardcore mood swings. You know what I call it? You know what I start calling it? Have you guys ever heard of Sundowny? Sundowny. There's a thing where... I don't know what these glasses are on. They're comfortable, but I can't read. Sundowny is a thing where... Gosh, he, oh, I know, no, no, we, we have a, a, a deal in the, thank you, brother, thank you, homeboy, for helping me out on the Venmo, thank you, brother, so much, man, dude, I owe so many burpees, you guys show me love, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ugh. I'm so overwhelmed, man, I'm starting to say stuff and then forget it, and I'm starting to just, I'm just like, I'm, I'm being pulled in so many different directions right now. I know my dog's at the house, man. And listen. Oh my gosh, my dog's at the house. I gotta get my dog too. I know, I'll let you know if the guy sent a thousand. I'll come right back on crying. I mean, I doubt he did. But that's a nice thing to say. I don't know, I doubt he did. 
unexpected stressful situation. That's my freaking name, homeboy. Show up to prison. Hey, what's up, homeboy? Unexpected, unexpected stressful situation. That's my name, bro. Dude, my my job with that kind of funny style. It's for court situation. My house. You got to get back to a splinter of dude seriously. I know if he if he shot me a thousand bucks, I'm gonna go move into someplace. I know I should box my cousin brother. I'd love to. You know what's crazy about him, man? Is uh a storage unit because um a storage unit because my car is full of shit. My car is totally full. Look at my car's full to the rim, dude, and I gotta go get more stuff. That's why storage. Full to the brim, man. When I first moved in, my cousin, bro, when I got out of Corcoran, so I moved in with her. And her brother told me my job title, dude, I went to school. Oh, man, see what I mean? I'm just getting so overwhelmed. I'll tell you about my job title. Let me tell you this first. I got out of Corcoran. I moved in with my female cousin. Her brother lives across the street. Brother lives across the street. He told me he was a black belt karate. Some kind of badass karate dude. I was like, give me some karate lessons. So he went in the backyard and dude, I, I had a laugh, man. What he was showing me, I was like, oh, oh, never mind. And the funny thing is, I saw pictures of him in a gi with black belt and he has swords like this. Dude, you forgot all of it or must all be for show. I don't know what it was because I seriously was laughing, dude. But I would beat the brakes all the way off that guy. My job title is this. And this is what's fucked up by my work. Let me tell you what's messed up by my work. I just went to school. San Joaquin Valley College. For 10 months to have to be an, electri an electrician helper, electrician apprentice for electrician. So I put some, some applications in, not really getting nothing, but I want to work my old boss who is a, gosh damn it, carpenter. So I went to work with my old boss, HBI, we start building a house. Then his brother, who's a carpenter as well, has these three units, he's taking care of the cop fire, a triplex. He needed me to come do the demo. So I went and did all the demo. He just borrowed me from his brother, the carpenter. Just borrowed me for a minute. So I went over here, started doing all the demo, and then I never left. That was in August. And then I stayed working with him. But it's dropped down only like 20 hours a week just because the demo's done. Now we did the hardwood floors. We did the painting. We did the electrical. We did everything to it. It's winding down. There's nothing left. Now I'm basically just picking up trash. And man, I'm going to have to get something else. You need to find a girlfriend out in West Coast, Ayo. Reaction Amber Heard. Oh my gosh. Uh, gross. That's the reaction to that. So, um, yeah, bro. Now I'm the hours are low. And what really pisses me off is yeah, there's like three empty units right now. And I told him I want to rent one of those. And he's like, oh, there's a waiting list. He's full of shit. You can rent your own your house for $750. I'd pay $750 for a room. Yep, I pay seven fifty for a room, man. So, anyways, man, any last questions, comments, and concerns? I'm gonna start winding it down. Oh, back. What time is it? Oh my god, what time is it? Check out times eleven. I didn't even think about that. Is it eleven? I'm gonna have to get out of here. I'm gonna have to go get a. I'm not gonna have to. I get to go get a storage. What time is it? It's eleven. I gotta go. But to check out any last comments, questions, concerns. I know maybe it probably will, but I got smoking though. And I thought about that dude. I was like, what, what kind of smoking? So yeah, much love to you guys, man. I appreciate all the people to help. You guys are amazing. I really, I really felt nervous, man, coming on with, uh, I want to share my struggles, but I just get nervous of being called a bum and all that kind of shit. I got feelings too, man. And I'm just trying to do the best I can. And I need all these prayers. Thank you, everybody. I know I should ask for a checkout extension. You're right. Okay, so I'm going to dip out, man. I love you guys so much. There's going to be more lives. There's going to be more lives throughout the day. I'll keep you guys posted. Shout out to the dude for sending me the thousand, man. You'll know because I'll, I'll instantly be into a room. I'll be living someplace. But I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you so much for the support, man. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you soon. Thank you, everybody.